All right, today I just want to quickly show you how to replace a sky. In, in Photoshop, they've made it so easy now. All you have to do is go to Select Sky, and it selects it, which is pretty awesome. And then we want to make a layer mask. It takes a minute, but it did figure it out. And you can make adjustments, but it did a good job here. So then I am going to hold down Alt. So I'm going to do a, kind of like a reverse mask, basically, and click that button down there. And now it doesn't have the, the sky. And then you're going to find a sky that makes sense. This one doesn't, but it's OK. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it in here. And it's not the right size, so I'm going to go up here to my Move tool and make sure my Show Transform controls are. And I'm going to stretch it to at least the size that it needs to be. And then I need to drop it under the other layer. Now, you notice it looks kind of weird having the sky like this, but you got to kind of choose where the image gets a little further away as well to kind of line that up. So of course, you don't want your lake to start showing. So somewhere in there, I think looks pretty good. And then uh, the last thing you might want to consider doing is changing the lighting on this layer here. So I'm just going to go up to adjustments right here, or you can go down here for it, same place. And I want to do uh, hue and saturation. I just want to make it pop a little. So I'm going to up the saturation. And you could change lighting if you wanted as well. It depends how sunny of a day you want. But that's it. Save this, and you're all set. Thanks.